there, everybody. How y'all doing? Thank y'all for coming back as always. I appreciate it. I really hope you're having a wonderful day or night. Welcome back to my channel. As always, I'm Deluxe. New Transformer Day. All right. All right, all right, all right. So excited. All right, but before that, do me a big favor. Go hit those likes, shares, prayers, and care bears. Go ahead and hit that little sub button. It really helps out the channel if you like the, you know, if you like my content and all that wonderful stuff. I'm still trying to get 2,500. We'll see. Uh, hit that little bell. It notifies new content. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, or on Facebook. You know it's in the description. It's all easy peasy. So lemon squeezy. And like always, shirt, shirt, shirt for sale. All right, I got three new ones. Go check out those links that takes you to Teespring. You can look at them. You can purchase one. All that wonderful stuff, man. You always need a new shirt. All right, shirts. All right, so today we will be taking a look at Phase Toys Jabber. This is FT-39. This is Blur. Jibber Jabber. Wonderful box art. Bam. Bam. And all this wonderful stuff. If you want to pause for the cause and read all that wonderful writing, there you go. Very nice pictures. Let's go. Let's get this puppy open and see what we're working with. Oh yeah, breaking the seal. Jibber jabber. So I watched a couple of reviews on this guy. Mixed reactions. Uh, looks good, but there's some uh, you know, stuff going on. All right. Mm, mm, mm. Smells like styrofoam goodness. All right, let me get this fella out. I'll be right back. All right, got this fella out of the box. He comes with instructions, a nice little booklet. Looks like there's gonna be quite a few steps to uh, transform him, so looking forward to that. He does come with a collector's card. Very nice thick stock, I like that. Bam, you see the back right there. I think that's just what's on the back of the box also, but you can freeze frame it if you want to. Very nice, got some nice accessories. All right, first impressions. Man, that's a big crotch plate. <laughs> Man, but it's got some good weight to it. I can tell there's some, a lot of die cast in the legs and feet, so that's very nice. He looks really good. The sculpt is already, I can tell, it's just beautiful. And it does look a little purplish. I've seen people say that, yeah. But, all right, looking forward to this. I'm gonna take a look at this fella, get to know him a little better, you know, transform him, all that wonderful stuff. So I'll be about right back and I'll tell you what I think. All right. All right, back from transformation with Jabber and oh my God, that was not fun at all. But let's move on, let's look at the accessories. All right, it comes with two guns, actually three, but here's uh, one of them, sorry for the glare. Very nice, nice little sculpted detail in there a little bit. And you can put all three, you put there, right there. You can put it in there. Right like that. Also comes with another gun. Very nice. Once again, some detail work. Oh, both of them are painted silver. Very nice. So this one goes out like that. And you can put that out there. And then you can put it in there. And you can ride like that. If you want to. It comes with a clear chest plate if you want to switch out these. It will say in instructions how to uh, switch it out, but I think you just probably pop it off or something. I'll show you a little bit. But nicely clear, clear, you get another option for that. You get a faceplate with a... Uh, so, some uh, blue eyes right there, some light blue eyes. I don't think it's metallic or not. It kind of looks a little... I don't know. I like the baby blues. But, yeah, you get a new faceplate. And you get his target master, which I've already transformed. Move that down right there. I'll show you him bot mode when I transform uh, Jabber back. Nothing special, just a little target master. And he can also be uh, put up here too if you want to. Uh, I think he can. Hold on, I'll be right back. <laughs> All right, yeah. So I, would just line, I wasn't lining it up right, but yep, you can ride like that too if you want to. So there are the accessories. All right, let's talk about him in alt mode. It's not bad. You know, it's, you know, it's not as smooth and slick I would like it to be. Man, it took forever. I'm just going to tell you right now, I don't I have it lined up as best I can. You have to squeeze these things in. There's a little tab right here and it goes into this right here. It took forever. This side went in pretty good, but this one took forever. It took a lot of force. I had to squeeze it so hard just to get that. 
and in the back you got these right here you know this is supposed to collapse over the thrusters I got the best I can these are on a sliding mechanism kind of thing like that and I just can't get it to budge so I got the best I can it does go down a little further and everything so but it's got some nice decent paint work nice you know this is supposed to be kind of a darker blue but it kind of looks purple to be honest all of it but it's got a nice uh, metallic flake in there to it nice paint right there you got some details in here, nothing painted. Wouldn't be cool if they would have painted that silver or something to, you know, bring it out a little bit. But that silver's painted. You can move this little thing up and down. Quality check. Uh, pass number 35. You got the thrusters. You got these little things right here. Pretty cool for some boosters or something. So, you know, cleans up decent on there. Um, you can, I mean, there's, I wish that would have maybe collapsed a little more. So it'll give it a little more sleeker. Cause he's kind of like he's popping a wheelie when he's on there so yeah but yeah that is the the alt mode not you know it's fine i'm not gonna leave in this mold at all but it's mode but you know it's decent so there is the alt mode for uh blur or jabber just a real comparison here's a uh deluxe siege figure and a classics figure and everything. I don't have anything masterpiece transformed in car mode right now, so there you go. There's for size comparisons. Crapagonics, a bottle of water, and some toilet paper. Alright, back from transformation. <laughs> Alright, let's take a look at his Target Master real quick. Very nice. He's got some nice uh, silver paint on the face, and he's got blue eyes, a little blue visor. Very nice. Side to side, all the way up to here. Very nice. He does have a 90 degree elbow bend and a little, um, I guess he has a bicep swivel. I guess if you, you know, put it right. Yeah, he does have bicep swivel. So he does have a, does he have an ab crunch? Uh, kind of like a, he's bowing up to you like, what you doing? What you doing? But uh, he does have a waist swivel. So that's pretty cool. Does a vein down. He can kick up. Kick back. Really tight tolerances. Jeez. A uh, little thigh swivel. He can kick up to there like that. More than 90 degree for the knee bend. He does have a ankle tilt. Very nice. I think it's more than the blur actually. Uh, toe tilt down. So. And he got the back right there. So enough of that fella. So let's take a look at this fella. Alright. Blur. Jabber jabber. So very nice head sculpt. I like it. It's got the blue eyes, the baby blue eyes, uh, kind of a gray matte to the faceplate and everything. Nice little translucent yellow right there for the head crest, and you got a little black in there for the little thing right here, whatever. So very nice. And this is all painted, this little light blue and everything. So you can look down, you can look up a good bit, side to side, all the way around, and you can give it a little add to it also. So very nice. Silver paint. You got the chest plate. Uh, I told you there's a clear thing. Uh, what you do is you have to lift up everything and there's two screws inside. You have to unscrew that to uh, put this clear one on there. I'm not going to do that. So, But that's the way you change out the chest plate. Moving on to the arms. Like I said, there's silver right here. Nicely painted light blue right here and purple. Well, that's not purple, but it's kind of a bluish purple. So you go on and go all, all the way up to there. That's not good. All the way around. He does have a bicep swivel, more than 90 degrees for the uh, elbow bend, very nice. Nice blue, that's a plastic right there, but then you got that right there. The twist of the hands, and he's got, uh, you know, they're all one pin. That's weird, they should have been uh, independent, you know, they could move all at once. Or one, you know, each, they can move individually, so that's a weird for that. But you got that right there, big old forearm. Moving on down to the abdomen and waist, this this big old cod piece, whatever, it's huge, but it just, it it moves around too easily. I don't know, mine's a little loose or something, but it just, a little wiggly waggly right there. A lot of people, are, some people I was watching uh, had issues with the arms being loose. Mine's pretty good and tight, so that's good. But this flap goes all the way up. I wish they would have put a cut in there or something like that, but he does have a waist swivel, nicely ratcheted. No ab crunch. It would have been cool if he would have gave him ab crunch because he's a really skinny mini. So that would have been pretty cool. Alright, he can do the Van Damme. 
I don't like these things either right here. They move all around if you try to maneuver, manipulate the uh, legs and everything. So you can go all the way up to there. It's got a nice ratchet right there. Uh, you can move this little black piece right there and you can get some more back there like that if you want to. He does have a thigh swivel. See, when you're trying to maneuver it, it just or manipulate it, whatever you want to call it. These things just can go in and out. That's, that's, come on now. Anyways, all right, moving that does a nice thigh swivel. Thigh swivel, more than 90 degrees for the knee bend. Pretty clean, I like that. Nice uh, metallic, kind of a bluish. It looks purple actually in hand, but very nice. We can move on down right there. Just plastic right there. Uh, this is a lot of die cast, so it's got a good weight to it. So you got a toe tilt down, toe tilt up a little bit. Not much of a rocker at all. These little side things get in the way. That's that's a shame. Can't get into some really, you know, dynamic poses. But then you got the back right here, very nice. So you can. He does have a butt flap. You can leave it. It's supposed to be like that actually, but you can fold it up like that if you want to. And then you can have this out or however you want to. But it cleans up really good. So number 35 actually. So very nice on the paint. But yep. There is Jabber in an articulation and uh, bot mode. There he is holding one of his weapons and they're not really secure in there. He's got that, you know, they got the part where you peg it into the little hole slide right there. But not really secure, so that's a shame. And it, same for this one too. This one's it's not really secure in there, so it's a little wibbly wobbly. So there's both weapons, and there he is with his target master, and that's not secure at all either. I mean, try to peg it in as best I could, but it doesn't hold it that well. So yeah, the weapons don't fit in his hand that well. All right, there he is next to the unique toys buzzing. I'll probably do a versus or a comparison more with this in depth later on but. there they are side by side okay. all right there's some side comparison with you got fans toys make toys mmc uh dx9 some other third party companies and you got a masterpiece well jack in there for you know, comparisons. All right, that looks pretty good. There's A6 movie crew. I know I threw in KFC uh, Redgar and I got the uh, uh, Masterpiece Ultra Magnus Rodimus and I threw in Hot Rod also. I don't have Hoodlum, so, but I think that looks pretty good. Crapagonics, a bottle of water, some crappy toilet paper, and squeaks. Doll. Oh, I forgot to mention at the beginning, he doesn't come packaged, you know, like he's, you know, supposed to be. So the heel parts are not flipped out. You have to open up the back, you know, part and everything. You have to lift up that little plastic tab so it can, you know, tab in right. And the head is not tabbed in right. So he doesn't come in, you know, you know, packaged completely, you know, like he's supposed to. Just remember that. Don't get it out and be like, oh my gosh, and start, you know, throwing a fit. So. All right, let's talk about Fans Toys Jabber. All right, alt mode, it's fine, nothing special, which is more a little sleeker, but it does the job. So, you know, I'm not gonna leave it in alt mode. I don't think anybody else is either. But if you do, eh, that's fine. But you know, it's it's just fine. It's hard. Right. Uh, transformation, <laughs> um, not fun at all. I, I really don't think it's worth to transform it. I mean, if you just like to, you know, go on and put your stuff on the shelf, I wouldn't even bother trying to transform this thing. If you like hard transformations and that's your thing, that's cool. Uh, this is for you, definitely. But I, I mean, it was just, I don't think it, it was not fun at all. I mean, there's some small hinges, you know, everything in the legs and everything. Be careful. You know, there are some small pieces and everything. I don't want you to break anything like that. Uh, you know, so, you know, I don't know. It's it just, just to be careful. It wasn't fun at all. I didn't like the transformation, you know, trying to you know, push so much force to get the uh, legs to tap or the arms to tap into the, you know, to the body, you know, in the uh, front, you know, in front of the car mode. It took forever and a lot of force. So just be careful. 
That's all I'm saying about that. The sculpt in bot mode is really good. I think it looks great. I, I love it. I love it with the 86 movie crew I have. I think it looks beautiful. Uh, it feels great. You know, the materials feel really good. Has a good weight to it. You know, the die cast, uh, you know, and the legs and everything really gives it a good weight to them. So very nice on the sculpt and the, you know, the die cast on them. I, I really like that. The paint is always great. You know, it looks, you know, kind of purplish, but I'm sure they're going to make another one that makes it more cartoon accurate or, you know, more, you know, movie accurate what they what they're doing right now but i really like the paint on this one it looks really good i love the blue i kind of wish it was more metallic in the eyes and everything that would have been really you know made it pop a little bit kind of just looks dull but you know overall the paint is really good i have no issues with paint with fan toys ever as far as articulation, it's not as good as I wanted to do. You know, I wish it had an ab crunch, you know, and a better rocker. The rocker on this is trash, so, you know, I, it's really bad. I wish, you know, just the articulation is not that good. The arms don't go up as far as I would like them to. You know, and for a sleek bot like this, I would like, you know, a lot, of, a lot of better articulation so you can get into better running modes and everything. Uh, the crotch piece isn't that good. And the fingers, you know, I wish they were individually articulated because uh, the weapons don't really peg in that well. So I think that this might be an older design. I, I'm not for sure, don't quote me on that, but this feels like an older design than what they've been doing with, uh, you know, like their Motor Master and their Silver Bolt. You know, that's just leaps and bounds better than what this is. So there's a lot of, lot of iffy things on this and everything, but I, I, I had to say it does look great. It goes well with my A6 crew, so that's all I needed to do. But as far as, you know, transforming it and doing all the, you know, playing with it and everything, it's just not that fun. So, you know, overall, it's just, it's just fine. It'll be all right. It's going to do its job, and that's all I needed to do. So, all right, I'm going to get on the floor. I'm going to do some floor time. Why don't you join me and be my neighbor? All right, all right, all right. All right. So, if, if I forgot to tell you, I have to take off the faceplate. You just lift up the head. You can unpeg it, and you just get your finger or some kind of tool, and you can pop off the faceplate, and you can add on the other one. So, I got some, I showed some pictures of him with the screaming face. <gasps> So what do y'all think about it? Whoever has this guy, um, what do y'all think about this? Um, I don't know. I forget to mention my final thoughts. I really hate these the sliding uh, thigh thing. That really is annoying, man. When I was trying to you know get pictures and trying to get them some poses, they just kept sliding in and everything. I just ugh, that really just sucks to be honest. I don't know. Like I said, I think this is maybe an older design. I think this may be when they designed a uh, hot rod. And all that stuff and Springer and everything, which Springer's really good. Uh, but I think they designed this with Hot Rod or something like that. I don't know. But it does got some good paint. It looks good. The sculpt is really nice and everything. So it will do its job. That's all I need to do. It's just not a fun, just not a fun transformer. You know, you know what I mean? You know what I mean, chicken? Oh yeah, I know what you mean. I've been said I'm not fun either. Oh chicken, you're fun. Come on now. Hey blur. Blah, 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 blah. You gotta slow down, Bubba. I don't know what you're talking about, Bo. Hey, Bo. Hey, Bo. La, 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 la. Hey, Bo. La, 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 la. What? <laughs> I don't know. Kick Shark to Kong in the face. Uh, what's up, Alpha Bravo? Uh, now, why are you kicking everybody, Blur? Jabber, jabber, the jibber, jabber. Oh, man, this crotch piece, man. Jeebus. I don't know. Whatever. All right, well, that was my review over the Fans Toys Jabber, also known as Blur. Like I said, he'll do his job by just sitting up on the shelf with the Asus crew, and that's all I need to do, but not a fun transformer at all. Gotta get away. You can knock out a little baby with this. I know you could. All right, I hope you like my review. Go down and hit me with some likes, shares, prayers, and care bears. Go down and hit that sub button for me. I'm trying to get to 2,500 by this week. And, yeah, I guess I'll see you on the next Fans Toys review. And as always, be good to yourself. Hell has, bro. And good night, folks. Hey, Bo. Hey, Bo. What you doing, Bo? Hey, Bo. Hey, Bo.